Hello, Rockno. I guess this one be different. Ah, a bit different. We be doing mini log, I guess it is. Well, just like an update on a lot of the other works that I do in the background. Maybe I should do more of these. Maybe that's a good idea. I have to see what the future beholds. So this is the inventory, some of the inventory code. Not fully working, but it's there. Almost. Look, watch out. Look at how cool this is. So we can grab, we can even hold, see, I'm holding the bowl, and then we can not hold the bowl. I'm holding the bowl. Then we can pick all this, although it doesn't merge with this one due to the fact he's different. Then we can drop the whole stack and pick up the whole stack. Look at that. And there's nothing in my hand because I have to update. That's some, that's another bug I find, and also this bug. Here we go, boom. I still haven't fixed this bug up here. I think I've seen that. I showed it through one. This code up through the screen, and then we go down to shows up five. I do have to solve that up, but we got the chart working, and I'm about to do like interactive item. So when you have an item selected, you just go interact with this coffee machine if it recognizes it. I guess the best way is. I guess, no, you don't really, I don't want to add, like, interaction with the cup. I guess the best exp explanation for it is, if I go get this flower, then with the mixing bowl, I just go, like, yeah, and then interact with it, with a different key. Then we can do stuff with it. I have to show up a Westby up here, won't I? Because, let's be honest, I won't remember what's in that, and no one else will either. <laughs> Wow, oh, that's what we all need for real life cooking. <laughs> uh, Mixer Bowl is going to be one I have to figure out how to get in the best position I can. Because I feel like you're going to be using that a lot. Uh, go, drop everything. I'm getting too many stuff in my inventory. I haven't added the egg in and all that. I have to have like a fidget, won't we? I don't really mind if they do fridges. That's something I'm not gonna curse them for. I don't know. I also want to do something later on with the coffee machine, which would be really cool. Is have a shelf where you have all your milks in there, and then it can read what milks you have in stock. The coffee machine can, so it could do that with also with your tea as well. Later on, so you can eat these single cup of teas. No, I haven't. I, and I have made these into things. This is not the final character at all, if you're wondering. Cap, coffee cup. Yeah, look at. Do you guys actually. I, I, I guess I've never really tell you, showed you this, haven't I? I really like how that one turned out as well, that you can, uh... I also got another problem too, where now I put this down. It's really cool. Yes, see how this does an update? I'm planning if it did or not. I know I did fix this up. So, before I had one problem where that's the reason why you have this right here. To solve the problem of... Um, so originally before I did that, before I made a new variable, what? Things felt like that, well, before I made a new variable that says that this, that it looks up, whatever it's in, if I said drop item with the C, oh, I need to update first. If I drop item with the C, it'll drop the current item in my hand, but before it is, if I dropped item from here, it would have dropped this one before, which is good. I still need to like, update it as you can see when I pick it up it doesn't update I was trying to do some things that early on and I think that in the stacking is the last two things I need to do we still add items still being the most annoying one of them all like <laughs> I'm surprised I managed to do everything else like let's be honest here and all that I think the calculation that thing's fine I just don't think I got this bottom bit done because I had to like change it into my display Maybe this is what the biggest problem is down here. I'm pretty sure that amount does equal to the last amount. But in a way, it's meant to be like this or something like that. I did try to do this, but hey, it's just like, no. How dare you make me do things. 
and then it admits the signal to update the display, which everything else display works perfectly fine. I didn't actually have to do anything that I got the display working really. So the display is just like I like the display because it's just like ah, I work now. <laughs> you know? I just used all the work code names and everything like that. I did probably, you know, I feel like this is very much, as you say, the first draft of this code, you know, like, the author, if you had, like, a book, you get, your book is, like, 50 miles long for the first draft before it gets, like, edited down. This is how it feels like with some of this code at the moment. Because there's, like, so much code there, but I also feel like there's a lot of code that's not really that necessary. Actually, especially with the, um, the selected items, so I can actually probably change that up a lot more than I think so, too. Because I, I recently added this to fix that um, little bug, where it doesn't drop the one that's currently in your hand. Then you got unselected. So unselected item happens whenever I move off, which is needed. But like, I go through this, like, a full-on tutorial. So, yeah, get excited for that. Some of this code works. And then most of it is a bit, uh, most of it doesn't quite work. I also did it for here, didn't I, as well? So then, uh, because before I had this, like, perusing stuff, and it's just like, nah. That's how I fixed that, um, problem. That's how, I, yeah, that's how I fixed the problem of... Oh, yeah, so this one sets, the one up here where we were looking at, this one sets the item slot number, and this one, this is when the drop item uses the item slot number to remove the item slot number where you're holding, oh, whoops, bastard, and all that. That makes, that's what it was. And then the item is no, I don't think I need, I can, I can actually do something else to that as well if needed. But at the current moment, I'm not finding an issue with just putting that down there. I just wanted to make it nicer, and then I don't know what, uh, yeah, um, we just pretend we don't see that. I think this is the bits and pieces of the older code. No, I think I can delete that later on. Well, look at it, and then set item. So I got rid of this previous item due to the fact that it's mainly used for jagging and dropping. So this inventory system does not use jagging and dropping because it is just a single hopper, and you won't be going into it. Might have to copy it again for a different inventory system as well, but I don't think I don't think I want to use a jag and drop inventory system in this one at the moment, unless it's like after like you know after the day type of thing functionality. Then we got the drop around here, which changes the item of it all. The name is C, and the name is nothing. And all that. They just display everything like down here is, uh, I guess, whatever, wherever the heck it is, like around here. Whatever, like, links the main, links everything together, working all right. Then the display. Ugh. Being such a pain. <laughs> and I do use a lot of the selected item stuff up around here, which is good. I'm pretty sure I'll sell this code for someone else. I've actually got to catch up on their videos too. Oh, I feel so annoyed being left behind on them because they were—they're like, like the perfect like video of content of gaming development content that I would like to see more of in a way. Yeah, you know, I feel like mine would be a lot to watch as well you, when you're doing your own. Oh, okay. Okay, that happened again. That's kind of sus. Yeah, and then you got here update unselected item and all that for if it doesn't ink a null, so then you do unselect item on the previous and next one. I don't know why, but that's like what I was doing doing food and it came up again, and that's iffy. 
I'm off to turn button. Oh, he's might be slightly losing his privileges. Sound privileges. I did do like other things. Actually, I think this is all the drop and jag code. You see how like to be able to click on the hot bar and jag things around. I'm not really fussed for that. If I'm truly being honest. Definitely on a hot bar that will be probably maybe have one or two more slots in it. It won't be much bigger than what we got down there. I think that's a good number where we're at. Until I feel like it needs more, then it's going to get more. And all that. And we also, um, something that I realized, like, I'm, I'm so cool. Kind of cool that I didn't realize we might need this. So this is the object. So I'll objects go in here so the object that spawns in the player hand so i had to go a different route on how to get to the object so what how it works is if you're selected on that slot it figures out what's the object what's the like object on attached to that slot and then adds that object to your hand because you see how you've been i'm noticing you've been like used hand but like name and amount before so I thought I might as well do that in like stackability like oh god I feel like so smart doing that one <laughs> you know I still haven't done very much of them at all and then you see this is the other side of it oh I need to get this all right I smell my coffee it's been easy on the morning, so I have to stay with miles away from drinking it. And you got all this. I actually think I've got this for something else in the moment. At one point, but not for the moment right now. Actually, that would collide with something too, I just realised as well. So I have to figure out what that is linked to and fix that up. Because I also got something really cool that works on here is that I got the item. So that's the item name and everything like that. So I had to have it like that. And then when the inventory is full or not, while well, I'm dropping something, I don't know if I need those two, but these ones are kind of important. But yeah, I also, you know, here's the people of Unknown Dragon as well. I never told you guys like the whining. I did actually do more on the arms since the last time, since like the last video of Unknown Dragon Della. We also got the walking. Walking is always changed. The one he has. Still not a huge fan of it, but I guess it'd be a lot. Then we also got this for another type of game that would be interesting. I still gotta get a soon page. I'm not gonna yet. I need to get help doing that. I want to get, I want to do something with this little doggy later on too, so keep your eyes out for that one. That's going to be a small game. I might do that after the bulk of um, one copy at a time is done. I also want to show you guys this. If you guys, look at this. So eventually, hope, so these are like the first, like eventually, hopefully, the first like prints. So you're going to get a sneak peek of that. Like pencil my art. So hopefully we get to that position. I I really want to get to that position of doing like a uh, prints for the art. Still have to fix up Under Dragon's like hitboxes and all that. So what I'm currently doing with um one cup at a time. So I'm gonna eventually put that inventory system into this game eventually. By the current moment, we, I think the, well, I guess hitboxes do work fine. The hit and hurt box works fine. Okay, we don't have that print anymore. Oh, excuse me, well, <laughs> yeah, I feel like really, like, step back. I feel like a lot of progress has been cut back on Only Dragon as well. With the entities is my biggest problem at the moment. The ones that got hit the hardest are these entities, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, so the kind of I think the life is working. Hey, oh, that. Yeah, see how we have air down here? That's telling me that this is hitting, but the um health is not working. For some reason, the health is not working. But I don't know why it's not shining up weird either. So 
So I don't know if it's the health calculation or maybe it is the hmm, other one on the other end of it. I think if the play is not working, it's interesting, isn't it? Because no one's actually universally getting hurt. Everybody's in mortal and I know Jagan the current moment. Immortality. I guess it's not that bad, but then it kind of is annoying. But you know what's being really nice? Let's open up the world and everything like that. Here we go. I'm just trying to use his favorite, favorite like functionality to in this. But then for some reason they've been like, oh, whoops. Okay, they're having like moments at the time because I. Change the name to something, and then it's just like, you know, if that's how we got 50 duplicates of something. And no wonder it's a confusing mess of God knows what. Yeah, I try to use this a bit more, but you can clearly see if there's no favorites, then things just vanish from the favorites. What's the use having favorites if it is vanished? <laughs> like, come on! <laughs> okay, I'm good. I wouldn't like this smile shop. I spent a bit of time, like, not that long ago, on making it look nice. And like functionally for the user of the area as well. Because before I didn't like the way it looked. It looked annoying to me. I didn't like it. Even this one right here looks a bit better than the previous file stuff. Oh yeah, look at this. I came up with some of these ideas as well. These are like so cool. Just little lights and even flower pots. I don't know where the flower pot is. I guess it's for the flower pot. See, look at the flower pot. And this is not the only type of flower for it as well. Since I did that little thing I did with the hanging pots. Where there's like multiple flowers. Like look at those. There's our flower count. They're going to be look so cool. It will be. Yeah, I would like this to be very interesting to run around in. Hope it does come interesting. And I also want to add in more cultural things as well. Like, what do these people do? What sport do they do, you know? That's important. Like, what is their main sport? Is it, you gotta ask yourself. I don't know if it will load on up. Or is it gonna have a winch? I don't know, we got, oh, no, okay. Cash, it's having a winch. I need to go find those ones that's having a whinge about, and then we can get that well in again. Like, he doesn't like me changing the name to something so then, you know, I can figure out what are the duplicates and what aren't. How dare I want to do that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I'm good now. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason why duplicates live everywhere. Hmm. I actually want to add more to that as well. Got a lot of work feelings. Um, I decided not to really add back in the lumberjack too much in this town. I think that's not to hurt too much. They still got a farm up in Nani. I don't want to be like super big. I don't know how to be on the scale this is. I might actually might have to clamp it down a little bit too. In the position it is in, I might, you know, I can actually go off and put this up here. This is tempting me. And have this cat there. Then you have, like, a large house over there. Or you go switch these two around. The larger house over there. And this one over here. I don't want, I want it to be before that walk because I reckon it looks nicer if I did it before that walk. I, want, I think that would be really nice right there. And the reason why I wanted to do that was so I can cut this off. I can also move this one down a little bit as well. So we go down to our ground. 
down here. This is actually being quite nice to be able to, you know, do this, come in, oh, okay. <laughs> Tap on this, come in like this, and then just be like, total this. I want to move this one down by one. This is actually been here on a lot lately too. I got currently got my one of my little doggies in like one of the coolest spots ever. Like oh my god. I want to probably move it there. Cut it off there. Oh yeah, that's what he's on mine. I think I might do that. Move it into here a bit. I like that one where it stands. You know, this means that we also got to go all the way back up here. Foreground. Move it all the way down here. So I want to line that one up there. And knock that one down there. I want to put glass right there. I think I might let, oh no, I just put glass right there. It'd be easier. I think I would do that. I don't want to do that. Yeah, that'd be the best way. So everything will move slightly over to the right here. That about the middle. Move all these flowers from out here because well I've bothered on them in. I don't know if they want them behind some house. <laughs> That's until later, until you can see behind the houses, then things will go behind the houses. <laughs> That's what that will be. There we go. Oh, I thought that was burly. Like, I'm not really fast with that one. That one's this annoying at the period of time, but not like a severely annoying thing. Until I leave, until one somehow, you know, gets all the way through to the demo version, then yeah. Mm -hmm. That's when I start getting annoyed. <laughs> you know, someday it's going to come. I mean, demo version, of course, but someday will come. I'm going to do the Steam page, but I keep being lazy on that. Well, not really lazy. I really have a wedding disability, so mm, not really lazy at that point. But yeah, you can also see new flowers. They look so cool, actually. I've added more to uh, this Jackwood Fowler's glass area, Twain. So, we look down here. I've also um, divided them into the eight sections, since now I don't have to like individualize them, like grab one at a time. So you see how all the same color walks are together, glass are together. Like that actually took a bit of time and effort to map out, map out all that. Ugh. Then I did the poorly again. But the poorly was done really easy the second time because I did the paint version of it so I went off down to here and used I selected this and go down to the paint so I painted it properly onto it yeah I don't mind that one that's kind of nice I could do that with the colliders as well I'm going to the I actually still gotta make a, like a different another part to that other one, don't I? Like the advanced stuff that I have to figure out that I can't just, you know, figure out in the afternoon. Still find that pretty funny. <laughs> it's like, hey, I just figured this out like five minutes ago, basically. And because I didn't see it anywhere else, I'm making a quick video on it. That's what happened to that one. Yeah, cool. See, this is one of the outer pot files as well. I actually took innovation from the bottle brush. I must have been thinking about the bottle brush. I do actually wouldn't mind. Maybe that's the weed. Maybe I was thinking of... Maybe I was thinking ahead because 
You do, I do want um, the lead dye that they use a lot of to be very common and maybe that's what the flower comes from because I have to have, when I'm thinking of the lead dye, you see this lead dye for these roofs here? It has to be the most common lead, common dye that they use out of all the things. Like, it is one, it has to be really easy to get, like. When it's common, it's common, you know. I got baby cheese in, in mid seed as well now. That's really cool. I might end it soon here as well, this mini log. We got these uh, pink bass as well. We got multiple vibes of that. That's probably the reason why I took a lot of information from the polar bar. See, there's an orange variety of that one. As well. Yeah. Uh, maybe I was thinking more ahead than I think I am because that red is, and we've got another one for our, that red right there. Probably make more sense to be the red for, and we've got two of the pink versions, to be this type of red. You know, once you dye it and all that, make dye out of it, it'd probably be closer to anything, to that red than any other type of red. You look at that beautiful red everywhere now. Hmm. Clearly that was biased, let's be honest here. Oh, that roof is barely. Um. Yep, roof is barely. There we go. Look at that. Oh my god, that looks ten times better now. You get this tall. Mm, <laughs> smart, but like, I think this one's definitely barely. I need to fix these wolves eventually as well. Where they look better. Yep, that, that's blurry. See, look how much nicer that looks, even with the scappy style. I used to be a good example of a lot of evolution through the art style and for the way I was thinking for the time period as well. Like, they really change the way you think about buildings as a whole. Like, you look outside and you're like, holy shit, our buildings are boring. <laughs> like, proper boring. Like, there's nothing nice about these buildings, mate. <laughs> so for those real old buildings, I might have something nice about them. That's how, that's how it feels when you build in your own buildings. It's just like... Well, we really don't have much character to a lot of these buildings. And then they go on about wanting to get rid of, like, clotheslines and... I don't know, sometimes some people go have a heart attack about plants. Like, oh my god. You know, that actually makes your building look not boring. That gives life to the building. Like, how different these buildings look after I put in plants. Like, the plants are part of these people's culture. And I all that's one thing I always want to make sure. Especially when I was... Like, good thing I did went into the plants more. Like, a lot of, like, the, all these plants are part of their culture. Like, the the big part of it. Like, they like plants. They like nature. They're meant to be, like, really close with nature and respect nature in the position they are in. There's a reason why I don't want, a uh, reason why I like setting it up, these towns, in a way that they do have a lot of nature area away from the town so these towns are close together is a big thing that i want to always make sure when making these places as well and that probably be the cattle area and still then I, I like the idea of putting in like good um practices you know Hmm. Oops. I might put this dude up here so that I can bring this library in more. Because I want to bring that in more. I feel like it needs to be born in more. I do want to make this files a little bit bigger. I 
I could even switch those two around. Switch this around with a smaller place. Well, I guess I've got to keep it on. The problem is this one is the dirt, man. Okay. I might keep it like that, actually. Putting some trees around it. Because you've got to find that balance when making, especially a town like this, I feel like, between... what? Most of my save ads. Yeah, I feel like you gotta find that balance between like open and close together. Like they gotta be close together, but they still probably, you know, probably wanna have some holes in where the trees do come in. And then you have bad terrain like these walks here where they have to work around and the dirt as well. It's something I wanna make sure to put in. I think I might put this more in the center. Yeah, I might put this more in the center area. Give everything more space. As well. I could actually put another house there. In the middle there for sure. Probably. Might as well actually. I'll probably actually put them on all these two smaller two-story houses instead of just making these little big houses. Because these little big houses are meant to hold like multiple people in there. And then you got the smaller houses. For anyone else who wants smaller houses. This is like the fishing area. Fishing person. When. Hmm. These are meant to be in the two central areas of the village as well. And it kind of makes sense as well since this is like the older area and it's meant to come all the way down here and like make it all central. Eventually the buildings like the idea is that the buildings eventually build all around here and more younger buildings. I have to put some wooden houses around as well. Uh, to represent some of the older buildings themselves. There we go. Do we want to knock out here, maybe? Give them more space. They're the beekeepers. Uh, they're signed in, load in. Oh, did I ever had a sign for them? Is a the question. <laughs> maybe I didn't have a sign for them. Oh no. I'm being sarcastic there. It's fine if they don't have a sign. Maybe you can say we are signed. These ones are meant to be a design where you don't have to like smoke them. Smoke the bees to get the honey. Well, that'd be like one of the coolest designs. I actually went and looked up to see how the design looks. How they do it and all that. And then it's very similar to this. Oh, I guess we I just wrapped it. Can, like put a design together pretty fast. Okay, look at realistic ones, and then this is meant to be tapped to being honey. I bet you I won't put an animation that because it'd be cool. I might actually, you know, knock this out a bit more over here, and being this over here, flip this around. Oh, back to normal size, it will be. Bring this back up a bit down up here, probably. And there we go. And I probably would want to put a box in here somewhere. So we go for. I don't know if it would be called a box or not. This is a problem. No. No. Oh, hang on. I'll be in here. What I want. Yes. I wonder if I should go for bigger ones on that. Plates. 
I'm gonna go for smaller ones. There we go. Probably do that. I hope you enjoy the the basic overview of this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. I'm a cool wolf. Now, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. See you next time.